Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, we are using my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman's Use. That is a 15 16 blade, barber's notch, smiling blade, and it is a wedge. This is out of the mid 1800s. Very nice. Very nice. Now, for our soap tonight, we are doing Chella. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a nice shave. So, we got that on tap. And for our brush tonight, this is the Connecticut Quarter brush we made. And that is a 22 millimeter Maggard Razor Synthetic Knot. Now, we haven't had it soaking. We will get it wet here in a minute. Now I have had the puck blooming though. So we're gonna pour that off and put that on this pre-shave. Yep, that's our pre-shave routine. And I did just get out of the shower as well. Mm, what a marvelous scent. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Now, get those hands cleaned off and dried off. Now, we're going to get that brush wet and get most of the water out of it. But it, we're going to leave some in there just, as, just because that's the way I do it. And let's get that brush loaded up. Yeah. All right. So welcome to the midweek shave hump day. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hopefully your weekend is was good and your week is even better. Yeah. Yeah. This weekend we went up and saw our daughter at the university. Really good. We're going to be packing her up very soon yep and it'll be time for her to come home yep so we got that all right i'm pretty sure this is probably loaded up enough so i'm gonna just stop right there we're gonna clean some of that off and put it on the face yep and in that bowl i'm gonna just go ahead and pull the really good stuff and put it on the brush. There we go. Now, just work that in a little bit more and see if I can clean off these hands. All right, looking good. Yep, yeah. so hopefully you're having a good week and uh, you're well and the world's treating you good. Yeah, hopefully. You know, and if you work, hopefully your work is good. We're counting down those days until Christmas. And uh, I know uh, few have got some pretty good things coming myself i uh, i did the uh, buying and picking out for myself as well so i know what i'm getting and i know what's coming and i've already got some of it and you've seen some of it mm -hmm. but we we still have more to come yeah a little bit more anyway which I think is going to be good. All right, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Hmm. <laughs> that is so good. Yep. Now, I do have a bowl with some water in it here. So I just dumped out the water 
and I'm trying to heat up that bowl and, and keep the bowl nice and warm. So we're, we're still uh, looking at uh, different things for scuttles and that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm still up in the air, not sure what I'm going to do yet. Yeah, how about you? What do you do? Do you use a scuttle or uh, a just bowl lather? I don't know. You know, let, let me know down in the comments. Now, I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. You could click up here to see refreshing a straight razor. If your razor is dull, that will fix it. All right. You can always check that out. And I get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special, and we will get that going for you. All right. Now this is pass one. And for me, that's with the grain primarily. So let's do this. Nice. Just taking off that growth. That is so good. Yeah, this is a nice big blade. I really enjoyed this one. Oh yeah, nice. Mm-hmm. Now, let's get up here. There we go. All right. Next up, we are going to switch hands and get the other side. Now, I'll find those. And let's do this.
Nice. This feels good. It really does. This is definitely one of my most favorite razors. <laughs> it is. There we go. Pass one complete. Let's get that rinsed off and see how we did. It felt good. So hopefully we're in business. Oh yeah, nice. That is nice. Oh, and this cello, not only does it have a wonderful scent, the uh, residual slickness is really there. Quite nice. All right. Now we're going to get that off. Now this is pass two. Now, if you're new around here, though, give me a hashtag new down in the comments. That would be brilliant. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in there as well. All right. And if you have been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. All right. Now, I also have a ton of links down in the description for straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists. Check that out. Now, this is past two. So we're going to get our lather on. Yeah, we are. And for me, this is primarily going to be against the grain. I know there's two schools of thought that uh, you could uh, either go across the grain or go against the grain. Uh, I choose to go against the grain because that will work wonders on my cheeks and this part of my neck. Really good. Quite nice. As a matter of fact, it works so well. So, how about you? What do you do? Do you go against the grain like I do, or do you go across the grain for your second pass? What works the best for you? Let me know down in the, the comments. I think that'd be interesting. You know, this whole shaving thing, you know, where we wet shave in the old fashioned way, there are many different ways to do things. And some work better for some, some work better for others. So I think it'd be neat if we could find out, you know, what works for you. And then maybe it'd be helpful for other people as well. All right, and look at that lather. That is brilliant. That is so good. There we go. Nice. Now, this is pass two. Let's do it. Nice. Yeah, that's good. 
All right, now, we're gonna switch hands, get this other side, Oh yeah, that's doing it. It is, that's so good. That is good. Get that blade cleaned off. Yeah. And let's do this side. Nice. That's good. Oh yeah, nice. Now, let's finish this off. There you go, we'll pass two complete. That is good, felt really good. Let's see how those cheeks are. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, very nice. Yep, those cheeks are good. If you haven't seen the half pass revealed and reloaded, click right up here on this card. It is the new version. Yes, it is. We did an update on that. 
And basically, this is going to be uh, against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Yeah. And it really works for me. My cheeks are fine right where they are. So I don't need any more help or work with that. And uh, now it's just getting that jawline sorted out and getting the neck. Getting that neck all clean. Clean and fixed up. So now, this is the half pass. And basically, it is going to be against the grain. Let's do this. We will get this going. Now, I'm going to switch hands, get this other side. All right, nice. Mm-hmm. And this blade really works well here because I got a little hollow right there. And that smiling blade reaches in there nicely. It does. All right. Now, let's get that washed off. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Hmm. <laughs> yep, very good. All right. Now, alum everywhere. Yeah, I hope you're having good shaves. And if not, keep practicing, okay? It does get easier. It really does. Now, put alum everywhere. Now, I just patted it dry. Now for my aftershave kind of thing. All right. Thayer's. And this is the lavender. This is so good. This is really one of my favorite scents that they have. And uh, oh, just marvelous. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. And I just put that everywhere. I don't know if you knew that, but I do. Yep. Yeah. I put it everywhere, and for our kind of cologne thing tonight, we are going Panag Clubman Musk, and now this is just got a wonderful kind of sweet scent as well, 
Uh, so I think it's going to go fine with the uh, Chella. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yes, it is. That is good. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're going to top the shave off with <laughs> Nivea Poche Balm. Yep. This is good stuff. And uh, it repairs the skin and really does a fine job. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for something for that post shave, this will help. Yep. Now, oh, that's good. That is so good. Mm hmm. All right. You could click up here to see the best how to shaves with a straight razor series you've ever seen. Yeah, it'd be good. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me. Subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.